Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing my April favourites. Um, I didn't actually do a March favourites because I couldn't really find anything. It was my birthday so in March so there was quite a lot of things that I had brand new that I'd just sort of been using but I wasn't really too sure so I didn't think it would be fair, a fair favourites if I did one last month but um, having had lots of products for my birthday there are quite a few things that I'm really really enjoying this month so I'm just going to get straight into it. The first thing is the Naked 3 palette. Um, so I asked for it for my birthday and I actually ended up getting the Naked 2 and 3 palette off my boyfriend so I was really lucky. Um, I do like the Naked 2 palette but just not as much as the Naked 3. I think the colours in this are absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that you get a double ended brush, it's really great for travelling. You've just got all of these absolutely gorgeous sort of rosy pink, gold, rose gold kind of tone shades. Um, there's just so many looks in here. In March I actually went to London quite a few times and I would stick this in my bag and it was just absolutely perfect to go from a day look to a night look. Yeah. I absolutely love this palette and I've literally been using it every single day since uh, I got it on my birthday. The, ne the next thing is actually a lipstick and I'm going through a bit of a nude lipstick phase at the moment. I don't know what it is. Obviously because it's um, going into spring, the darker lip um, colours that I usually would wear just don't really seem very fitting. But I actually got this in a recent Birch box and it's the Party Proof Matte Lipstick from Model Co Cosmetics and it's in the shade Kitty and this colour is just absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't go as far as saying that it is completely matte. I think it is... Um, slightly more of a sheer tone it does have a little bit of a, a shimmer in there um, but the longevity of it and just in general the colour is perfect for me I find with my skin tone being quite um, pale with a pink undertone to my skin that I really struggle to try and find the correct nude for me to wear um, and this is one of them I really really love this so if you have the same sort of skin tone as me and you again struggle with um, you know nude lipsticks then this might be perfect for you I've just really been enjoying wearing this recently and it's just something that I can put in my handbag and it's not too much of a dramatic colour that I can just quickly whip it on and feel like my whole of my makeup look is refreshed so I've really been loving this this month next up is a foundation and I actually bought this foundation originally about 12 or 18 months ago when I first bought it it was the first high-end foundation that I ever bought and it was on recommendation from my sisters and my mum who will use it and it's the Lancome Tint Miracle this is to me such an underrated product I never hear anybody talk about it but it is so beautiful especially the dewy one I have got the matte one as well and I don't like that one as much it's SPF 15 so it's not the greatest foundation for when you're going on a night out because you do tend to get a bit of a flashback but for everyday wear the coverage is I'd say medium coverage but if you apply some concealer with it it gives an absolutely flawless look to the skin it stays really really well I'd say it's better in um, it depends when if you've got normal skin that's not too oily not too dry then I think it's absolutely brilliant whatever the occasion if you've got more oily skin then it's better for you in the winter because I found during the summer months that where I used to get quite oily on my t-zone then the foundation did tend to slip away a little bit so towards the summer last year that's when I stopped using it and I actually switched to my Estee Lauder foundation and if you've got overly dry skin then it doesn't send, tend to have the same effect of giving that flawless finish. So I think it's definitely for more normal skin and for me. I'd say it works really well in sort of autumn and spring, which is really bizarre to have. I would never have thought that you would have foundations that work better in seasons, but it's so true. In the winter, my skin is a little bit too dry and it doesn't really sit right. And in the summer, it's a little bit too oily and so it doesn't sit right again. So, in But in spring and in autumn, this foundation is just amazing and I got it back out a few weeks ago and I just haven't been able to stop using it until about two days ago because I've actually run out so I need to go and repurchase this again. I really really rate this foundation I just think it's absolutely brilliant. My next favourite is 
something which I was very inexperienced in. I'd heard um, quite a lot of people talk about using a white liner in your lower waterline to make you look more youthful and so I went out and I purchased a white um, under eye liner and oh, I looked awful honestly I cannot even express to you how awful it made me look it, j it did not have the desired effect right I mean I thought this isn't how it looks on everybody's videos I think it was in a birch box because I don't have glossy box anymore but I got this one and it's actually a nude pencil which when I first got it I was like oh not this again like I, I can't use them they don't look right on me but when I tried this this must be what everybody was going on about. I should not have got white on me. This nude, however, really does have that effect of opening up the eyes, really making you look more youthful, um, more refreshed. Brilliant. I use this actually probably near enough every day now. Um, I absolutely love it and it just makes me feel really refreshed, really youthful. And I definitely recommend this if you have tried white and you don't think that it has the desired effect. Maybe try um, darkening the shade a little bit and using a nude and and you will get the same effect that everybody else gets. So yeah, this is absolutely brilliant and I've really enjoyed using this for the past month or so. My final beauty favourite this month is actually a skincare product and this was kindly sent to me by a company who just wanted to know what I really thought of the product. I think I've mentioned it in a previous video that I've had terrible skin. I, I think since giving up smoking that um, my body is now you know, able to do everything that it should have been doing when I was smoking. Um, so I've been getting hormonal spots around my chin and generally for the past sort of six months I've just had awful skin and I think that was kind of all of the, you know, nastiness coming out from smoking for such a long time. Um, but that seems to be coming to an end now but I am left with um, quite a few blemishes from where I did have such bad spots about, you know, three or four months ago. And the product is called Heal Gel and the concept of this is that it's um, a firming and replenishing cream. It's basically um, supposed to help with the production of collagen and basically initiate that process. It contains lots of omega oils to restore elasticity and to nourish dehydrated skin. And it also contains hyaluronic acid which has a plumping and revitalising effect on the skin. Since I've been using this, honestly, my skin was so awful and I do, I'm not going to lie, I do still have, you know, a fair amount of breakouts but where my skin was really imbalanced and I had quite a few blemishes and red marks, this has helped so much with all of those. The final thing is kind of a beauty favourite I suppose, it's actually Epsom salts. Um, now they don't actually come like this, they come in like a little bag but I bought this from Tesco's I think it was and I've just put them in here so that when I refill I can just put them in there. Um, one thing to be really wary of is if you store them in your bathroom make sure that you actually get them out while you're still dry not when you're in the bath because I made that mistake and as you can see these are a little bit stuck so when I want to use them I have to actually really get in there and scoop them out and break it all up because I used them when it was wet so I'm waiting until this is completely empty so that I can give it a wash and dry properly before restocking it with some more but my boyfriend actually got these for me for my birthday which was on my little wish list I think I heard of them through Tanya Burr and as you might know she has spoken a few times about her anxiety and anxiety is something if you read my blog you would know it's something I've dealt with now for about two or three years I used to have horrific anxiety and I am in quite a good place now. I had CBT therapy and my anxiety is now under control but I definitely still have days where normal daily stresses just really really work me up and I get myself really tight and hunched and I, it's always been an issue of mine that I really struggle to relax. Um, you know, a normal person, if you like normal person. Um, somebody who doesn't struggle with anxiety or mental health issues could just sit down and read a book and be relaxed whereas sometimes if I sit down and read a book I can start to think about my body and if it's feeling okay and really get myself into a vicious cycle that then creates anxiety and it's just a nightmare but the one thing for me that has always helped when I'm feeling stressed is a bath 
so when Tanya recommended Epsom salts I had to get some and I'm not joking I mean this was you know pretty much full and I don't know if you can see in there now but I've used this in every single bath that I've had and it is just amazing I don't know what it is that it does but it just calms your muscles it it's almost as if it gives you like mental clarity I, and they don't even smell I'm sure they don't smell let me just check they don't smell it's really bizarre so it's not that it's like you know when you use aromatherapy oils you get a scent and that calms you down I don't know how it does it these calm you down so much and I've absolutely been loving them so if you do struggle with anxiety or you're just after a really nice relaxing bath then these are absolutely brilliant and I couldn't recommend them more and that's it for this month's favourite guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe got a few products that you'd like to try. Leave me a comment down below with what you've been loving this month. There is always more room for things on my wish list so please do let me know if there are any products that you are loving at the moment and I can add them to it. Please like, comment and subscribe and do leave me a comment please because it just lets me know that you're enjoying what you're seeing and that's really what I'm on YouTube for to meet like minded people like myself who are interested in beauty and fashion and yeah Hello. so and if you've got a channel here on youtube please leave me a link below and i'd be glad to go and check it out and i'll see you all in my next video thanks for watching guys bye now i'm no longer focused on the past ones now the only thing i'm hoping is the last one